Hello, I'm Eric Olson with Smart Pot Fabric Planters, and this week our guest on The Growing Revolution is Nicole, who goes by Purple Lungs on social media. She's a home grower in the now legal state of Virginia, and she's really prolific and successful on TikTok and Instagram uh, with her posts. And I wanted to speak with her about her passion for growing cannabis and how that's translated into social media success. So, Nicole, thank you very much for joining me. No, Eric, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure with you, always. Thank you very much. Yeah, so how long have you been growing at home for? And uh, what have you been using as a source for your gardening knowledge? So I've been growing since 2022, I want to say. I've been legalizing in 2022, so I've been growing since 2022. And, um, no, I'm sorry, 2021. I've been growing since 2021. And my biggest source at the time was just YouTube, honestly. So I was already a YouTube fanatic at the time. Like, um, I was a big advocate for just learning trades from YouTube. Um, I was already learning a trade on YouTube, so it was easy for me to just dive in into this aspect, um, or what I would call my hobby. So I heavily relied on YouTube because there wasn't much Instagram information like on Instagram, lots of posts, um, and results, but just like no info. So YouTube was a big one. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, I, I go to YouTube quite a bit when I'm learning uh, new things myself. So um, it seems like you're growing some really quality flowers uh, from the pictures and videos that I've been seeing. Did you have instant success when you started growing? Or if you had struggles, what were they? Um, I, I didn't have instant success. Uh, well, I would say I had success and I made it to harvest. Like, I call that successful. So I, I feel like doesn't matter how much in the end, like, you ended up having, but it just, it's the fact that you made it to harvest. So, yes, I had a successful harvest, but was it, it wasn't what I was expecting, is what um, I would say. I was expecting this big yield, and I felt like that is maybe one of the issues with YouTube is they don't really dive deep and explain, like, hey, as a first timer, you may not have what I have, but you'll have something. So I was like real confused. Like, why does not mine look like theirs? Um, but it, and all in all, I was happy with what I had and it was like a great experience. Yeah. I always say having something is better than nothing. And I, I know when I first started growing, I think my first two runs uh, ended in failure and I didn't even make it to harvest. So I would say, yeah, if you're able to get a harvest on your first run, I'd call that a uh, success for sure. Um, Definitely. So, Nicole, what strains are you currently growing and uh, where are you sourcing your genetics from? Okay, so currently I'm growing from a mix of different uh breeders so eat those i'm growing mandarin cookies it was one of my favorite grows i did very well the last time i grew that last year so sorry about that last time i grew that last year it was a really good harvest the turps were there and i made so many mistakes with that uh strain but it was very resilient so mandarin cookies eat those um sour lemon drop from irvine seed company um chocolate chip cookies from a uh, caper purple and then we have uh frozen yogurt i think that's it i think i think i think that's it right now I think yeah that's it. Fro frozen yogurt i haven't heard of that one that's uh sounds like a good one though yeah um i'm a big fan of humboldt seed company they they've always got good seeds uh, so you've been growing uh, in smart pot containers for a little while now. What do you notice when growing in smart pots versus any other container or system that you've used? So when I first started growing, I, the first pot I used was just a plastic pot from Walmart. And it didn't really, I mean, the roots kind of circled and I dealt 
with a lot of, I just dealt with a lot of issues when it came to the plastic pots. Um, no offense to anyone else that uses them, but it was my own fault. I felt like because all the research I did on YouTube showed smart pots, like I use smart pots or try smart pots or at least fabric pots in general. So I decided I'm going to go with a fabric pot and the most common was smart pot. So I went and did some research on it. And I looked at people's grows who weren't as popular, people that just were just growing in their garden. And I liked the results from them. So I ended up using them. And one of the biggest things were just I, w I had no issues with overwatering. Um, it was able to retain what the plant needed and what it didn't need would just drain on its own. Um, and I didn't have any issues with watering. Like that was one of the, that was my biggest thing. A lot of people would say that watering in fabric pots is, is difficult because it doesn't retain well, but I never had that issue. I felt like it retained well and the roots, um, were able to, the roots were aerated well. Like they were able to grow. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard for me to explain, but I just had great success with my smart pots that I've used. Yeah, the, well, ultimately, the, the proof is in the pudding. And um, yeah, I, I'd say, you know, with a smart pot, um, a big rookie mistake is over loving and over watering your plants. And it's a lot harder to over water your plant uh, in a smart pot versus any other container. So um, good observations there. So uh, kind of getting into social media now, you've had a lot of success with your social media posts. I, I'm just amazed at some of the views that you're getting on those, uh, especially on TikTok. How do you figure out what you're going to be posting? And then is there a formula at, uh, to success as to what gets more traction than others? Hmm. I wouldn't say I have a formula. I pretty much just post what I would want to see. So I look at myself as an avid scroller. So as much as I post content, I scroll. And I, I like, I'm a content viewer. I view content. So I post what I feel like I would want to see. And I try to be as honest as I can. Um, <laughs> I feel like we have a lot of opinionated, uh, we have a lot of opinionated growers out there. And I feel like Getting people talking in the comments is one of the best things that attracts engagement and just views in general. Um, so one of the biggest things I like to do is just get people talking. And I don't think any opinion necessarily is negative because you have so many different ways where people will grow. And I feel like as a new grower, if I didn't grow anything and I have a comment section with thousands of comments with people saying, well, I use this and I use that. I'm taking all types of advice. I'm taking notes. And that's one of the things that I didn't really have. Like, there's the Reddit when I first started. I'm not a big Reddit fan. But comments, I would, on YouTube, I would look through comments to see what other people were doing. And that would definitely help me. I mean, you can't use all um, advice. I mean, you don't want to get too confused. You don't want to get too deep in the weeds. But there's some good information out there. And I feel like when I post, I have that in mind. So if I'm if I felt I had issues with germinating when I first started. So I feel like as a new beginner, a lot of people can't even get past that stage and they just give up. So I try to focus on topics that a lot of people don't focus on. They focus more so on the the later stages of growing when there are a lot of people that get frustrated with just the beginning stage. Yeah. And a uh, good segue. Um, you know, some of your posts are getting millions of views and it, and it seems like it's, you know, the more controversial topics where you get people chiming in, uh, you know, and giving their two cents on, Oh, you should grow this way. Uh, not that way. Um, <clears throat> how much revenue are you making from those, you know, I guess, bigger posts and, do you have a regular nine to five job or are you exclusively on social media uh, doing your thing there? So TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> so I'll, I'll answer first. I do have a nine to five. Um, I do have a nine to five and it allows me to be able to be able to make the content that I make on my own schedule and still just be able to keep up with engaging with the community I've created. Um, I'm close to 
like just doing content full time because I feel like it is panning out the way I want it to pan out. As far as the revenue, um, I, I won't say a full figure, but I will give you a spec. So right now, um, my rate per minute, it could vary. It just depends on how good, it depends on how much you get people talking. So, um, a typical rate per minute could be anything as low as like 20 cents, uh, rate per minute and anything as high as like some people have like $10 rate per minute and that's per thousand views, qualified views. So at the moment, my rate is about $2 and 50 cent per qualified view per thousand qualified views. So my highest, my highest view video probably would be about 8 million views. So if you do the math, you're looking well into the thousands for at least one video. <laughs> um, it's not, it's not a, um, it's not something that happens all the time, but it is something that, you know, if you were looking towards becoming a TikTok partner as far as making revenue on TikTok or just any social media platform, it's definitely worth it. <laughs> it's yeah. definitely worth it. My my kids, uh, they want to be YouTubers when they grow up. And I'm just like, no, you guys need a real job. And then when I started looking at how much money like YouTubers are making, I'm like, yes. man, what did I go to college for? <laughs> I was surprised just, um, and I would love to get it. I'm trying to get into YouTube, but it's just like, I feel like, you know, you have your niche, right? And um, I don't know. I feel like it's a good thing that these platforms are, paying their creators or at least giving the creators access to monetize their content um, because you don't always see that. And like you said, at one point, it was just like, no, this is not a real thing. You cannot get paid off of this. But now we're seeing people, I wouldn't say influencers, like actual just regular people um, being able to benefit off their content. So that's good. Yeah, I just think of like, you know, people like Mr. Beast, who's just, you know, well, killing it on it. Instagram, <laughs> like, dude spends a million dollars per video yes. that he makes, yeah. but he's making, you know, multi-million dollars per video. It's just amazing. So God bless it America, right? Is. Um, so besides, uh, smart pots, do you care to shout out any of the other grow products that you're using like nutrient wise or, you know, equipment wise? Yeah. So, um, I'm going to start with, uh, just my nutrients. So roots organic, big shout out to roots organic. I've been using roots organic for the past year and a half and I've had great success with them. Um, it's taught me a lot just using organics. It's been rough sometimes, but you learn through that. And um, I had just had great success with that company, and I've been able to communicate with them even just as a, a regular uh, buyer. You know, I've been able to consume, uh, communicate with them. And if you have questions regarding their products, they're open and they're answering those questions for you. So that's always big when you're purchasing products from a company. You're able to get those questions answered, you know, that you're looking for. Um that's one. And then, of course, AC Infinity, they have been a huge supporter of mine um, since I first started just doing content in this type of uh, industry. So huge supporter. Um, and they show that it's not just about the numbers. It's just it's about co the community. So um, that's a really, really good thing. I really appreciate that. Um, who else? Who else? Oh, who else? Um, shout out to TNB, like TNB Naturals. Very, it's like a very, very great company. Um, I believe they're based in Canada, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yep. but on my birthday, they get they sent me a really nice surprise. And I, I was like, you didn't even realize, but it's my birthday. And aside from that, um, they were just really helpful with any questions that I had regarding their products. Um, I use their products currently, and I'm always posting about their products. So big shout out to TMB. Um, who else can I say? Uh, Dino Myco. So I, I use Dino Myco Smart Pots and, um, of course, Fox Form Soil a lot, Promix HP. So your three products, um, these three products I'm always using in conjunction. So they always work well. 
Um, I don't have any other. I can't think of anyone else. But if I forgot anyone, my apologies. Um, but I appreciate everyone, every brand that I use, um, whether I purchased it or I'm partnered with them. I, I truly appreciate it. So, yeah, nice. Um, so, uh, so uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that you're an influencer with us, and we've got a discount code. On uh, smartpots.com, which is purple lungs, all one word with uh, a Z at the end, not an S. And that'll get you a 10% discount at uh, smartpots.com. So enter that code at checkout. So um, on that note, uh, Nicole, that was all the questions that I had for you today. Uh, I learned a lot about, you know, how you're doing things and I learned more about social media. So I really appreciate your time and I appreciate you being a smart pot supporter. No, I really appreciate you. I've been in communicate. I've been in communication with you for at least two years now. I, I can't believe that it's been that long. Time flies. Um, <laughs> I know when you're having fun, right? But um, I want to just say thank you for having me on the show. Um, I can honestly say that just using smart pots products have helped me even as a beginner. I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning. And that's just one less thing that I have to worry about. So I really appreciate you guys and the attentiveness that you show in the community. Um, so I appreciate you. And thank you for having me today. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, and until we chat again, have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.